Today we're going to be looking at the Webas, Webas, Weba, Wee Bastard, Wee, Wee Bastard -o, the Wee Bastard -o, the Wee Bastard -o board project thing. Today is just a short video in which I will mostly just be uh, filling the description of this video with uh, a link to uh, Simon's code and Simon's page and Simon's board and we will just have a quick look at the board and a quick look at it running and that'll be about it, and it, about it. And then in future videos we will go in depth into how to, uh, perhaps how to order one, a board from uh, JL, JLCPCB and how to program an Arduino. This isn't the right one, don't buy these for fuck's sake, this is the wrong uh, Arduino, don't buy that one. Um, how to program said Arduinos, upload code, edit code. It's, it's pretty fucking simple to be fair, I mean if I can do it, yeah 99% of people can do it as well. So what what should we start with? So in here is my um, JLC PCB box because you can't just order one. Minimum orders five, so you need five order five boards. So in here I have a stack of boards. Can you see them in there in various? Uh, hold on, maybe I can get the top one out. If I can get one out to show you it uh, because the ones I built weren't quite finished yet. Well, actually, none of them are finished. So. The ones I ordered are basically just four uh, MOSFETs, some diodes, and some resistors soldered on a board. Uh, it's missing capacitors and uh, the thermometer bits, the NTC thermometer bits, and the bits for putting the actual Adafruit Arduino controller thing on it as well. But I will show you that on the other board. So I've got four of these left. I'm going to give one to Harold who started us off with the Orbasto, well he resurrected the Orbasto project and well, it kind of died because it was a bit sucky. Uh, but yeah, that's just some other bits and bobs we'll need in there. Let us uh, zoom in on the board and we will go over the bits of the board. Zoom! Zoom in more. This is the board that's still attached to the rest of the heater. and. That's a USB cable, let's just unplug that just now. So this part here, this, this is an Adafruit, wait it says on it, an Adafruit Feather Express, or Adafruit Feather M0 Express. This is the correct one to buy, this is the one that works best with the code. And it just slots into the, uh, oh, the actual Webaster, web, Webastard board. Uh, in the original code that Simon wrote, he used one of these, which is a feather, um, an Adafruit feather has a 32, and that uses the ESP chipset. But as he found out, that it gets a bit wonky when it does things, and if you ever activate the Wi Fi, it fucks it up forevermore. So don't buy that. The very first thing I did was failure to. RTFM, which is read the fucking manual. So it basically says, like, which of the Adafruit series he's using. It doesn't mention this apart from in the boardy board and the bit of the website where it shows the board and it says this in the description. And there's a picture of this on the website, but the actual code itself tells you to use this one because this is the one that works. As for the rest of the board, you've got MOSFET, 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 MOSFET. I've added a heat sink to this one because it gets a bit toasty. Uh, that's just the header pins where your other board slots into. There's a few diodes dicked about. The ones uh, boards I ordered didn't have these two capacitors on them, so I've added those capacitors. And the white wires you see here are they go out to the uh, the hundred k NTC thermistors. That's what reads the temperature of the exhaust and of the heater body that keeps everything running. And everything else is just wires out to the pump and oh, the water pump, the uh, water pump, the air pump, not air pump, the, the fan blower more of the heater and the fuel pump, a uh, positive negative main and a positive trigger and one that goes out the fuel pump. The only other little add-on is this little uh, bit here, you can see him poking off the side. In the original board design there was a 12 volt to 5 volt power adapter that 
went there, but it didn't work. It was shit. So Simon just d designed around it and just uh, get one of these little 12 volt to 5 volt modules and you just solder some bits of wire on and just leave it dangling over here. I mean, I could probably hot glue it to the board there and it'll be out of the way. So that is, as I say, that's the board. I'll share the code and the things in the comments. And now we might as well just have a quick look at it running. My first tip will be to don't plug in the USB cable to your Adafruit without the main power being applied to the board. Because the heater will try and run from the power from the USB port on your computer. Granted, hopefully your computer does have a 500 milliamp limited supply and you don't well, destroy your computer in the process. But it will try and run the glow plug and the all the pumps and heaters off of their 5 volt supply. So connect up your main power first, then attach USB, and obviously in reverse, do it the other way. Take out your USB and then disconnect the main power. You only need the USB for programming and monitoring it if you want to. You don't need the USB attached when it's operational. Once you've programmed and got it running, you don't need the USB ever again. So let's do that. Let's move our box of gubbins out of the way. And we have 12 volt positive, 12 volt positive on here. 12 volt negative on there. And everything else is already attached. The blower, fans, fuel pump, all of that is there. We will now plug in the USB. It would have helped if I turned my laptop on. Oh, the laptop's, wait, it's not in shot, but it's up here. Laptop's up there on a shelf, being a laptop on a shelf. But it's just so I can monitor the code. Let's just log in. Happy days, and Arduino's ID's already running. All right, that's plugged in, that's plugged in. Oh, I might as well put this on the board. So, as soon as I plug this in, it's going to start doing things. Maybe. There it goes. I'm not sure what you can hear. Right. One of the oddities that I've found is that... So I'm going to have to dangle this with a bit of wire. And, you know, let me bring up the monitor. My fan speed is pegged at 40% while it's doing nothing. So if I take you up to the scrolling code, the scrolling code, which is here. Forgive me, I don't have OBS Studio installed on this laptop. I was just gonna, it's gonna get to the bottom eventually. But furthest to the right there is the heater status, which you can see is off, and it is very off. And kind of like a third of the way along is the fan speed. Where is it in the, the fan speed? 40%. It's the, I'm gonna, it's in the code somewhere. I just need to dig through it and find out why it's locked at 40%. But all the while it sits doing nothing, it is locked on 40%. Right, I suppose we better get into it. But same as a normal Obasto, you give it a 12 volt trigger, Double trigger, T. And it's doing the thing where it's cleared the chamber, primed, and glow plugs on, is it? Yeah, code says glow plugs on, water pumps on, fans not, well, the fans on its lowest setting of like 15. And then pump fuel in, if you can't you hear it, pump fuel in, pumps, glows. Uh, where's the water temperature, exhaust temperature either? Wait, why is the fan speed at zero? Oh. Wait, I've absolutely broken the code. Oh, hold on, I will be right back. Oh look, some smoke. Okay, so I was, I was trying to find out where this 40% fan speed was. And I was fucking about with the code, and I changed that line. It was a zero, so the fan was at zero, unfortunately. And it should have just flashed. There it goes. 
has now flashed the new code to the Arduino. That's how easy it was. It took me all of five seconds to edit it. It's now flashed and it's gone back to being in idle. So let's connect it again and see if we can get it to start this time. Right, go. Trigger that. Prime. Glow. That's it's lit now because it was already full of fuel. And that's it. It's now running. Well, it says firing up on the on the yeah. Uh, what do you call it? The code. This is probably more interesting to watch than the actual heater spooling up is. As you can see there, firing up. The exhaust temperature's in the middle of the screen, roughly. What we are, 70, 75, 76. So it should now go to whatever it decides is like running. I don't know what. I can't remember, it's been a long time since I've looked at this code. But, there it goes. So it's running now. Well, I see smoke drifting past the screen. Exhaust temperatures rocketing the way up. So we're going. Lovely. There's not much down here to see, I'm afraid. It's uh, a heater running, there's no plumes of black smoke, there's no plumes of any smoke. It's just doing its thing. And now, we'll go back to the code. Zoom, bitch. I've noticed that mine gets up to 200 degrees in the exhaust quite quickly. And that's where it starts to float the temperature up. So I might need to tweak it, because I think it can run a bit harder. Also, there's no uh, silencer or anything on my uh, heater, so all these things will change your settings of your fuel settings and your air settings. So, if you've got an air filler and exhaust and all these things, so you'll see as it starts to hit 200, as it starts, like he says, to hit 200, you'll see it start to decrease the fan in the fuel. So, it tries to maintain a 200 degrees exhaust temperature by making the fuel go up and down. But all the while, it is still heating the water up. It's just maintaining an actual nice balanced flow temperature. Uh, yeah. So as I say, well, as it says, the water's at 36 degrees. Oh, why don't I use my new phone? New. New. So I've gone and bought the Doogee S98 Pro with the built-in thermal imager. Mostly because I was just interested to see how this compared to the FLIR. Well, this has a water temperature of 42. 40, then again it's looking at yellow plastic. Uh, 40 degrees, says the thermometron. I'd like to see the actual exhaust in there, if I can. It's just hot. Actually, let's try filming with this fucker. How hot's where we bored? I, mean, like, I don't think this moth fetch should be hot. It's not doing anything anymore. I think it might just be residual heat. So let's see how bad this uh Oh, let's mix. Oh, that is a nightmare! It's 
Vorbereitungsbrett. Ich die Sens noch. Ja, yeah, okay. Browser Manner war, als sie hier bei der Nice. Nice. Uh, right. Let us now stop the set heater. He's drop at 50 degrees. Hello? Do you want. Oh, okay. Alright. Trigger wire disconnected, and then it just runs the cooldown again. Same as the other uh, Wabasso, runs the fan, runs the glow plug, burns off the last of the uh, residual fuel. You can see a bit of smoke there as it finishes off. And that's, yeah, it does that till it cools down. I'll bring you back once it's stopped. Okay, yeah, it doesn't stop. That's the problem I have to fix. So let me just unplug USB, unplug USB, and disconnect the ground. Right, now it has stopped. So I hope this video wasn't too long, I wanted it to be kind of short, but I basically I just wanted to have this video up to share Simon's code and Simon's board design. Simon, who has been very helpful, emailing me uh, back and forth, we've been uh, problem solving, and well, hopefully we've only got a few more problems to solve, like the 40% fan constantly. It's not a huge problem, but if it could stop. Uh, uh, doing that, that would be also great. And yeah, don't buy the Hazar 32, that's the wrong one to buy. Don't buy them, buy the Feather uh, M0 Express, and then everything just kind of works after that. As I say, we'll make longer videos detailing the board, order on the board, and one doing the code as well for any, anyone that's not used the Arduino IDE like me. I hadn't used it until. Andrew helped me build the very first Bobasto shower project that we did together. That was my very first experience uh, programming with Arduino. And hey, let's like say, if I can do it, and anybody, anybody else can do it. Uh, questions, comments, etc. down below, I'll try to answer them and answer them. And if Simon's kicking about in the comments, perhaps he will also try to help answer any of your questions. Uh, I think that's about it for this video. I've probably rambled on long enough for what's supposed to be a short video. So, uh, yes, uh, thanks for watching.